Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and apart from Him, not even one thing came into being that has come into being. In Him was life, and the life was the light of mankind. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not grasp it. A man came, one sent from God, and his name was John. He came as a witness to testify about the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light. This was the true light that, coming into the world, enlightens every person. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, and yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not accept him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified about Him and called out, saying, This was He of whom I said, He who is coming after me has proved to be my superior, because He existed before me. For of His fullness we have all received, and grace upon grace." For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth were realized through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time. God, the only Son, who is in the arms of the Father, He has explained Him. While most people are familiar with the name Jesus, relatively few truly know who He is. Yet knowing Jesus' identity and mission are important because the ramifications are eternal and the best source of information about Him is the Bible. Scripture tells us Jesus is God. This means that He's eternal. He existed before His physical birth and even before time began. Jesus, the Creator of everything that exists, is the perfect reflection of the invisible God. Our Savior has the power to forgive sins and is worshipped by His followers, both of which are appropriate only for divinity. Think about the omnipotent, eternal Son of God coming to earth as an infant. Imagine Him lying in a manger made from trees He created and under the stars He Himself had strewn across the sky. Scripture makes it clear that this was no ordinary baby. The Word also says there is only one way to eternal life, and that's through faith in Jesus Christ as Savior from the penalty of sin. God has provided ample validation of His Son's identity. Weigh the evidence, respond with humility when you know in your spirit it's true, and turn to Christ for salvation.